Grace and peace be multiplied unto you. I welcome you all to today's lesson. And this lesson is a continuation of what we started last week. Algebraic equations. So, algebraic equations or expressions basically refer to equations or simply put expressions which make use of variables, constants, coefficients, and etc. So in maths, in algebra to be specific, you can find equations such as x plus 7 is equal to 1. And this is an algebraic equation. Now the reason why it's called an equation is because there is an equal to sign and so this is an algebraic equation that's what, how we refer to this however this is an algebraic expression this is an algebraic expression so algebraic expressions do not have equal to signs or signs of equality and when we talk about signs of equality we are looking at equal to less than less than or equal to greater than or equal to not equal to etc so these are those are signs of equality and a variable a variable usually refers to the letters that are used in algebraic expressions so like x y z a all these are variables why are they variables the word variable comes simply means something that can change so example if you are to find x x is a variable because it could be one it could be two it could be three it could be four it could be a lot of things a lot of numbers that is why they are called variables constants so in algebraic expression we have what we call constants and constant refers to any number standing alone example x plus 3 this is the constant okay and we have what we call coefficient so when we have uh, something like 3x this is what we call the coefficients. This is the coefficients. All right. So that those are some of the terms that are used in algebra, and you need to know them. And I'll be using them as we move on. So forming algebraic expressions, and I'm sure you are familiar with what we call word problems. And algebraic expressions can be developed from word problems let's look at an example when we say five more than the number it simply means x plus five it means let's say our our number number refers to x so five more than the number is simply x plus five it means we have a number but we have five more than that number so what do we do we add five to the number which is x so x plus five and we say two less than the number it means we have a number x which is two less so which is two less so we, sub we subtract two from that number and we say seven times the number we multiply seven by x and we say half the number we divide x by two and we say y more than the number so taking x to be the number we just add y to x and we say y less than the number we just subtract y from x and say y times the number x times y and we say the number subtracted from 6 it means that the number which we don't know x subtracted from 6 which is 6 minus x so you should get familiar with these word or algebraic expressions in the word form because sometimes a question might come to you not in written algebraic 
or written mathematically but then written in a word form so you should know all these words and what they mean so that you can be able to express them mathematically let's look at multiplication and division so early on in our first lesson we looked at addition and subtraction so we continue with multiplication and division multiplication so I'm sure we all know that x times x is equal to x squared so a square of a number simply means the number times itself and we have the cube of a number so it means that number times itself three times so it means any anything multiplied by itself can be raised to a power so this is the power or exponent or index those are the names used for this the number on top so y times y times y times y times y how many y's five times is the same as y raised to the power five likewise a times a times a three times is the same as a raised to the power three and d times d is d raised to the power two so that is how multiplication of algebraic or algebraic expressions are and let's look at this y times y times y is y5 and y times y times y is y sorry it's supposed to be y raised to the power 3 it's supposed to be 3 here so it's supposed to be y5 over y3 and you realize that is division so this y will cancel this one this one will cancel this one and this one will cancel this one so it will be left with y raised to the power 2 and that is how division is done because they are all repetitions and you can cancel them out okay let's move on to different forms of multiplication we have so basically when we see a times a times a is the same as a raised to the power 3 okay and a times a times a 4 times is the same as a raised to the power 4 now when in indices there is a short way of doing this when you see a raised to the power 3 times a raised to the power 4 what you can do is you can either expand it and count the number of a's like this a times a times a that's a raised to the power 3 times a times a times a times a that's a raised to the power 4 and the answer is going to be a raised to the power 7 because when you count them you have 7 of those but in indices there's a short rule which is a raised to the power 3 times a raised to the power 4 is equal to a raised to the power 3 plus 4 and what do you get a raised to the power 7 and it's the same as expanding and counting so you simply add the powers on top okay now let's look at another form here in this form you realize that it's a raised to the power 3 all raised to the power 4 so what it means is that this bracket it's multiplying the powers it means that this you know brackets is a sign of multiplication so it means that 3 times 4 and this is going to be a raised to the power 12 because the power is multiplying the power here and it's not multiplying the whole thing so 
the correct one is a raised to the power 12 and the wrong one is going to be something like this this is wrong or this is also wrong this is also wrong so I repeat again because these are all powers and they are multiplying each other the answer is going to be a 3 times 4 which is a raised to the power 12 okay let's move on so when it comes to division like we saw earlier when you have d times d d raised to the power 5 d times d times d times d times d that's d raised to the power 5 all divided by d raised to the power 3 or d cubed d times d times d then the d's will cancel each other this one will cancel this this one will cancel this this will cancel that and we will be left with d times d and d times d is for d squared so that is how we do the division cancelling out okay so let's solve an example this is how you'll be finding some of the questions in algebra to simplify them and let's see how this goes so we have 5 a b squared times 3 a squared b now everything here is multiplication there is no addition there is no subtraction everything is multiplication so you can expand this to be 5 times a times b squared times 3 times a squared times b okay and now you can now group like terms and unlike terms so this and this are like terms this and this are also like terms and this and this are like terms because they are all numbers so let's see what we now have we now have 5 times 3 times a times a squared times b squared times b because we've now grouped them now remember for algebraic expressions you can decide you can not decide but you have to stick with the rule the board mass rule okay so brackets of division and so let's put our brackets here so that we finish with what is in this bracket before we come there okay so what do we have 5 3 is 15 a times a squared is a with cube and then b time b squared times b is b cube okay so this is the answer we have now we have 15 a cube b cube and now so we've sorted this out we are left with this divided by a b so this one can also be written as divided by a b and so when you expand them you know what you're going to get you're going to get 15 <coughs> sorry 15 times a times a times a times b times b times b all over a times b so a is going to cancel one of the a b is going to cancel one of the b's and you'll be left with 15 a squared b squared and this will be your final answer when you are supposed to simplify this okay so that is that for algebraic expressions for this week 
I've given you some exercises and I hope this video will help you solve them. Until our next lesson, stay safe. Bye-bye.